everyone welcome back to the channel you are watching our cloud school in this video i am going to show you how to set up communication between azure data factory and the storage account with the help of manage identity which is system manage identity as an example so this is a way you set up a communication or you read and write to data from the storage account using the secretless option from the data factory so let's look at the scenario and the use case as a demonstration so this is the data factory instance which i'll be using for the demonstration and i will use this azure storage account to read and write data into this particular storage account container which we have it which is output container so first of all we are going to have a look at the link service option because link service is the service which is responsible for setting up a connection between your data factory resource like pipeline data flow and the target resources or the source resources like storage account sql server database and all so as we are talking about the link services so we are going to create a link service which is of type azure storage account if you look at the link services which I already have as a demonstration, here in this option, I have a link service which is of type Azure Blob Storage and that is what we are going to have a discussion using the managed identity. But this one which we have right now is not type of managed identity. So if I expand and click on this code option for this link service, you would find that the type is the Blob Storage. but the way this type has been configured it is configured with the help of connection string and it's been used with this connection string option and this is the connection string value which is encrypted of course but even though the connection string is encrypted but storing such a critical information is not a good option especially when you store it into a zero data factory because you this same code is going to be checked into a repository and anyone can have and look access to these kind of resources they can copy and misutilize the information which you might be which might be create holding the critical business data right so it is always recommended that you should use the secretless communication which is having the use of the managed identity now how do you set up the managed identities communication that is something we are going to have a look at so let me show you creating a new link service I'll be clicking on new link service and I'm going to choose this Azure block storage as an option. I'm going to give it the name to my link service as an link service MSI storage, which is a storage account. These are the type of authentication options we have available with Azure storage account as in link service. As we mentioned, we are going to discuss about the, we are going to set up the system manage identity as an authentication option i'm going to select the subscription and then from this subscription i'm going to select the storage account which is this storage account and after that you can see that the storage account kind is storage account v2 which is the least possible storage account kind required if you are looking to use the manage identity with link service and data factory with the storage account right now with the managed identity of the data factory which is this managed identity now this identity requires certain roles to be granted on the storage account before we use the storage account as in managed identity authentication the reason is if i do not assign appropriate role then the link service connection is not going to be set up let me show you that if I click on the test connection, I will get an error because the roles which we are looking for is not set up. And that is what we are getting the error here, right? It says you do not have a proper role to set up or to communicate with that storage account with this authentication type. Now, which role we are talking about? Let me just click on this link. And if you open this link, which is the Microsoft document link, this is what the role we should be assigning to the storage account for this manage identity so i'm going to copy the manage identity id which is this id i'll go to the storage account and from the identity and access map control i'll click on the add role assignment 
and from here I'll search for the role as in blob so I'm looking for a blob data contributor role which is the role given as you can see that the role definition is allows you to read write and delete access to the blob storage container and data right after that I'm going to click on next and on the members tab I'm going to select the access to manage identity next I'm going to choose the members by clicking on this option it will require to select the subscription which is the default subscription then manage identity I'm going to choose the manage identity as in data factory manage identity selected the data factory manage identity and you would find that it is the same manage identity ID which has been notified here in my data factory right having this role in place I can simply review the role definition and then create the role assignment so once I click on create the role will be assigned here which I can see under the role assignment so my data factory has now got this storage blob contributor exists which means that the appropriate role has been assigned now if I click on test again it should basically be able to connect to this story account let me just show you that it says that it's not able to connect might take some time I may need to try and re-attempt of creation of this link service as the role assignment has just been assigned so let me do one thing I will try and create the link service one more time by following the same option so I'm going to select this link service option which is also a store account authentication type I'm going to select system manage identity again I'm going to select the subscription and then the storage account which is this storage account and then I'll click on test authentication to see if that is going to work fine so this time the connection is refreshed and it's working fine it was just required to reload the authentication this time our manage identity or the link service is created with the help of manage identity now if i click on the code section you would find that the configuration is slightly different there is no sensitive or connection in string or the encrypted data which has been uploaded or configured here so anyone who wants to even though copy that there is no harm it i can check in this particular code in my repository no harm in it right and this is much more secure secure and safe option so now our link service is created let's try and use this link service in our pipeline so i'll go to the author i'll try and create a new link service new pipeline using this link service so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and let's say use the lookup service or maybe let's use the copy activity simplest activity which will try and help us copying the data so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select a data set or create a data set using the link service which we have created so i'm going to use the azure plus storage option let's select the text delimited file so that i can select the csv file link service i'm going to select the msi storage account link service i'm going to choose the container as an output container and then from here i'm going to select this csv file as an example you can select any csv file just for the demonstration now here if i click on preview i should be able to preview the data right and that is going to work fine right so we are able to preview the data which means that our link service is working fine so let's click on the link service again and this time i'm going to create another link uh, data set and data set is going to be again the blob storage i'm going to choose the file format is type delimited the source blob service which is another storage account container which i'll be using input container from this to this i would like to copy the file select ok and then data set for sync is also ready my sync file is also ready now so let's validate the pipeline just to make sure that we are able to validate our configuration i'm going to debug the changes just to make sure our pipeline is running and it's performing the job which we are looking for so our copy activity is successfully completed which proves that our link service which we have created for source is working fine and it is going to copy the data at the destination location using the manage identity link service so the demo from the pipeline perspective is completed but there is a 
condition here the condition is that the same demonstration will not the same link service configuration will not work with the data flow why it will not work i'll show you that so let me just create or delete this particular activity and what i'll do is i'll create a data flow activity here and within this data flow activity i'm going to create new data flow and here in the new data flow i'm going to add a source and the source i'm going to select the data set and this is the data set which has the our msi link service which is using our msi link service and it's trying to copy or preview this same data let's preview the data just to make sure that the data set is still working now as we can preview the data in the link service right I'll preview the data in the data set i would like to preview the data in my data flow as well right to preview the data in the data flow i can click on the preview and i will refresh it and i'll see that if it is able to preview the data or not so with data flow we are getting an error it says that the endpoint does not support the blob storage event or soft delete what does it means is if you use the system manage identity with azure blob storage there is a condition here with the microsoft azure and the blob storage manage identity the condition here is that if your storage account is having soft delete enabled then you cannot use the system manage identity authentication with the data flow it is not supported right now okay so that is the condition so what does it means is i need to if i would like to use the manage identity with the storage account using the data flow from the azure data factory then what i need to do is i need to disable the soft delete option so let's go to the soft delete option click on that enable option hyperlink and from here i need to disable this enable soft delete was checked in so i uncheck this option i'm going to save it save successfully now if i try and refresh it hopefully i should be able to prefetch the data from the data flow it might take time it seems like i have to disable this option as well so let's disable this option as well option is disabled i'm going to refresh now that is it once the soft delete option is disabled we are successfully able to browse or preview the data even from the data flow with the manage identity link service remember the data set which we are using having this link service and this link service is using the system manage identity which is what we want in our case this is the one right and that is it in this demonstration just to summarize we have learned how to use the manage identity between the azure data factory and azure storage account and how we consume the connection of link service with manage identity into the data factory pipeline resource as well as the data flow resource both i hope you have found this useful if it is please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks for watching it see you in the next video